назад Hey folks, this is Martin Spurs Camperman, and I am currently in the Dragoon Mountains. I was here uh, last year uh, for several days. I thought I'd come back out here and do some more dispersed camping out here. I liked it so much. Yeah, in order to get here uh, from Highway 80, from the Tombstone side, Highway 80, be turning on to North Middle March Road. You'd be following that dirt road for 10 miles. You'd be turning uh, left onto uh, Forest Road 687 and then following that road for probably approximately about two miles to come to my camping spot right here. Let's take a look. Yeah, folks, so here's the uh, loop road on 687. And I am dispersed camped right there. This beautiful area right there here. I got some privacy right there too. Uh, this spot could hold several vehicles. I don't know if you can tell or not. It's fairly unlevel right there. Depending on what you're uh, dispersed camping in. Didn't have to use my uh, ramp right there then i use my jacks to push my truck even further over just to get a little bit level i'm completely level right there and i do have a 30 foot telescoping pole i can use whenever uh cell service isn't all that great i just uh zip tie my uh wee boost antenna up there I got lowered right now because the wind was picking up and it's kind of swaying a little bit. But that, that there uh, does the trick right there. But if I am outside, I get some pretty good uh, cell service. I think it's five up and five down. So, but when I'm inside the tin can, I start losing cell service. Of course, I downloaded my uh, motorcycle. Rode it into town a couple times and riding around here and around the mountain. It's pretty cool. Of course, I got my generator and external fuel tank over there on lockdown. And I did the whoop uh, one trail cam, which I don't need it, but you just never know. Can you see where it's at? Yeah, it's right there. Let's see if you'll catch me on it. That's one of a couple of them I've got out right now. I'm just going to show you one. i got these huge big boulders down through here. This is a pretty cool campsite, folks. Then the valley is right here. Let me take you up here, right past this tree right there. I'm going to show you what's on the side of this uh, the valley over here. Look at that, folks. Pretty cool views down through here. I just love these uh, rock structures. Like boulders just sitting up there. It's pretty cool. Great views. And you're probably wondering if uh, you can uh, bring your rig down here, your RV or whatever you're camping in. and. Uh, I can't say yes or no. It depends on your comfort level on uh, driving on dirt roads. And uh, what I'm going to do next is going to take you down there to Highway 80 on my motorcycle. I'm going to bring you in and show you uh, the way to my campsite. Kind of give you an idea if uh, you can uh, chance the uh, roads to come up in here. Take a look. Yeah, folks, I'm on Highway 80, and you're coming to uh, Middle March Road sign right there. You'll be making a left right here. You can see down that fur right down there is the uh, tombstone, but you'll be making a left, and this is called a uh, North Middle March Road. Across this uh, cow guard right here, and uh, this uh, road starts out as pavement. 
for about uh, a mile, mile and a half. And then that's this uh, road in to go to gravel. There it goes, guys. A uh, mile and a half in. It goes to gravel. Uh, this is going to be a 10 mile dirt road. <clears throat> and this is a fairly well maintained road. It's very, very washed, boarding. So if you don't like riding on roads, specifically roads that are uh, washboardy, don't come on this road. So 10 miles up here, I'll uh, show you what it turned off to. Yeah folks, 10 miles of uh, North Middle March Road. I'm going to come to this cattle guard right here. <coughs> as soon as you cross the cattle guard, uh, you make your left. On to 867. Get the Coronado National sign right there. And you got your road 687. This is a narrow mountain road, limited maintenance, next 10 miles speed limit, 15 miles per hour. This is part of the Coronado National Forest. You notice the uh, road gets a little bit more rougher. And a little bit more narrower so I wouldn't recommend anything maybe travel trailer maybe yeah, you can tell there's rocks in the road makes this a really really bumpy road and you got shrubs uh, probably gonna road against the side of your camper or vehicle if you're not careful going down through here I mean, if you got a brand new RV I would probably bring, I wouldn't bring it down here the road is pretty rough you got across the washes you get back here but as I see that, there's a nice little spot right there. And as I see that, there's a Class A right here. It's like an older model. They rolled back here. Class A with numerous slides. Discovery. And right there in the back right there, we got a... Uh, it's like a fifth wheel. And a Class C right back there. They made it back here. And about two miles on 867 from Camp Dap. You can kind of tell it's a little washed out. <coughs> Bumpy and hilly. See, we've got some good ruts right here. That's a real nice open spot for some dispersed camping. Right over there, they got a fifth wheel. They made it all the way back here. He's got a pretty good view. Look at that. Right up here, we got them a uh, Class B parked up in there. They got a motorcycle too. It's pretty cool looking. And uh, last year when I was here, I was actually camped off on uh, that road right there. But somebody's been on it since I've been here. 4827 road. So I came off further down here. And as soon as you cross this uh, category right here, this road turns into a loop. You can make a right, you can make a left. But, uh, make a right yeah this road is a loop and there's a couple of roads that shoot off to this loop and eight six seven road continues out that way off this loop so here's a very popular spot right here this is where they do some rock climbing I see my go on a walk around this loop and I catch them over there rock climbing yeah it looks like they're rock climbing right now be fun. This here stays pretty busy. This spot. A lot of campers. Nice little truck camp.
camper out there. We've got some uh, two pop-up campers right there. So they got motorcycles too. There's another camping spot. That guy's been there since I've been here. He's been camping out in a tent. It's a pretty nice sized tent right there. Then this next spot up here. This next spot up here is uh, where I'm camped out at. There I am. It's a pretty bad road. Oh. Home sweet home. This is a pretty cool cabin spot right here. Yeehaw. Yeah folks, that is the uh, road in uh, from uh, what, Highway 80 to North uh, Middle March Road into 687. And that 687 is probably the uh, worst shape road if that's what you want to call it but like i said i've heard people uh turn on to uh, middle march road right there the 10 mile dirt road and get a little ways in it's just too rough for them the washboarding and uh it sounds like you're rattling the truck apart in your rv so just turn around and don't come in here but it's up to you what your comfort level is uh, driving on dirt roads and like i said i've seen uh, class uh, a b's and c's out here travel trailers uh, teardrops, uh, bumper pull, all types of RVs out here. But it's up to you whether you want to come out here or not. But if you do make it out here, and the people who has been out here would let you know this is a uh, excellent spot. Especially me, if, you know, if I revisit a dispersed camping spot, it's for a good reason. I really do like it. I've been here for uh, five days. Well, actually, tomorrow I'll be leaving out tomorrow. So tonight would be my fifth night being here. And so that should tell you something. I really enjoy here. <laughs> yeah, folks, I'm up here on the uh, this big boulder right here, just uh, checking out the views. Take a look. Right down there is where I'm at. Camped out at. And I got another camper right over there. Can't really see. Uh, this right here is that loop I was telling you about earlier when I was showing you the road in. This here's a loop. Goes all the way around. But there's a 687 road coming in. And you come in this road, you come to a Y. And if you stay to the left, the road stays pretty good. And it kicks back out to 687. Back, stay on that road. But if you make a, when you come to that Y, you make a right. It'll lead you, this road is a little bit more rougher coming around, but it'll lead you uh, to more camping spots over here. And there's a rock wall right over there. Pretty much stayed busy the whole time I was here. They were uh, climbing the rock over there, using ropes and anchors to climb up and down it. Looked pretty cool. Of course, I stopped and uh, filmed it a little bit. There's another big, nice sized camping spot with shaded trees over there also on that side of the loop and several more campgrounds or camping spots here on this road. You keep moving to the right, then you're coming out to my spot right here. Then you go up to the loop again, make the immediate right. You keep following that road 687 out. And right there is 687 still. And right over there is that uh, Slavin Trail. It's right over there. Then the road follows it on out. I think it leads into a private property, so you definitely want to come in from a tombside road. And way over there in the distance is uh, Tombstone, the city of uh, Tombstone. I did go down there, uh, revisited that tombstone, tombstone and uh, re-saw the uh, OK Corral shootout. None of the characters were the same from last year, except for the main character, Doc Holliday. He was the only same actor there. It's pretty cool. So if you camp, if you want to come over the Tombstone, just camp out here, Dragoon Mountains, 
be a nice spot to stay at. Go up there and explore Tombstone. Definitely, folks, you get a chance to come out here, do some dispersed camping, definitely come out here, get you a good spot. I mean, the scenery is great. Like I said, I was here last year, and uh, I'm glad to be able to make it back out here this year. I was just so close to this place going out west. I said, I'm going to stop in here again. Excellent spot to do some camping. Yeah, folks, like I said, I've been here about five nights. Well, tomorrow will be five nights when I head out. <clears throat> and uh, the main thing I've been doing is doing a lot of hiking around here. <clears throat> I love in the first thing in the morning and late in the evening. I'll just uh, go on a several mile uh, hike around here. There's lots of options to choose from. And one evening, I think it was, I think it was last yesterday evening, I decided to hike one of these washes over here, like right over here. I got probably half a mile in and I came up on an animal. I did not know what it was. I think we both locked eyes at the same time. We were trying to figure each other out. <laughs> I didn't know if it was going to charge me or not. I've never seen this type of animal whatsoever, ever. I didn't know what it was. And of course, I took some video of it and some pictures, and I sent the picture to a family member and some friends. In between us, we all figured out what it was. These are apparently called coatis and they're akin to the raccoon. I thought that thing was pretty cool. The first, the first time I saw it, I thought it looked kind of like a monkey. <laughs> Somebody lost their monkey out here. But that was the first time I've ever seen a quaddy like that, or a quaddy period. It looked very exotic. And then uh, it finally took off in a brush, brush and I kind of washed it. And it climbed up in a tree and just looked at me, started swinging its tail back and forward and started making a noise at me. I thought that was a pretty neat experience. Something I've never seen, and I finally saw it. I uh, walk in a wash here in the Dragon Mountains. <laughs> well, folks, I thought I'd do this uh, video to update you about this location where I'm at, the Dragon Mountains. Uh, if you want to know what my next destination is, I do have a Facebook page. Just uh, go to your Facebook and type in Dispersed Camper Man and uh, follow me on uh, Facebook. And what I've been doing is letting you know when I get to a new place, I'll uh, take a picture of my camping spot and I'll post it to Facebook and uh, just to let you know where I'm at currently. That kind of helps me out too because some people know where I'm at and they say, hey, do this, hey, look over there, hey, look at this. Kind of give me some ideas what to do in that area. And also, uh, I also posted to Instagram. So if you're not following Instagram, uh, go ahead and uh, go over to Instagram and uh, subscribe to me there. And while I'm out here in Arizona, when I show up to a spot, I'm going to let you know uh, the area I'm at. Yeah, folks, like I said earlier, uh, this is going to be my last night here. So uh, I've got this evening. And this evening I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go on another evening hike. It's probably going to be a pretty long one. So this is my last uh, day here, last night here. And I really do enjoy uh, this area. Uh, like I said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave the description of the great coordinates to this camping spot in this video description. Oh. Hey guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Appreciate you guys for watching. Hit that like, subscribe button, and definitely please leave a comment and I'll try to get back with you. Hey guys, thanks for watching.